Hey, this is Joe with Grow Up Build It, and today I'm going to show you an easy way to fix low spots in your lawn. Something that all homeowners will likely encounter in their life at some point is having a low spot in their lawn. Whether it's a small ankle twister or a basin or depression, we would like to have a quick and easy way to level it. And I'm going to show you that. But first things first. If you're watching this and you have a low spot that's very shallow, say less than one inch deep or three centimeters, then you really don't need any special method. You can simply go get some topsoil and rake it in so that the grass still pushes through the dirt. This will slightly raise the grade and take care of your low spot. But if the low spots you are dealing with are any deeper than that, several inches or more, then stick around because I can show you a way how to fix them without reseeding in less than 10 minutes. We're going to go through the tools and methods you need to level out a lawn and fix the low spots without reseeding grass, and then we'll talk about the best time to do the work, watering, suitable fill materials, and a couple other things that can cause low spots. So let's have a look. Okay, so theoretically this method will work on any size low spot hole or whatnot. But in practicality, it's best on ones that are three foot diameter less and maybe six inches. You'll see what I mean. For the tools, all you're gonna need is a flat shovel like this one, a couple of bags of topsoil, a straight stick uh, or a level to check for levelness of your lawn. I'm using a tree stake, but a two by four that was straight would work or a four foot level would work fine. Basically anything that is long enough and straight enough and a wheelbarrow can be handy to have on hand as well. Also, you want the soil to be moist before you start this work, so if you're doing it in spring when the ground is cold and damp, that's fine, but otherwise, water it the day before. Okay, so let's get started. Just find your low spot. Lay your stick across it to identify where it starts to go down. Basically, wherever there's a gap between your stick and the grass, this is the start and stop points. At these start and stop points, Stab your shovel into the grass an inch or two and gently lift up on the shovel to raise the grass just a bit to mark it. Repeat this on the opposite side. You're also going to want to rotate your stick 90 degrees and mark the other edges of your low spot as well. Next, stab around the perimeter of your low spot taking care to make a continuous edge. Gently lift up on the edges as you go. Next, we're going to go around the perimeter again, but this time we're going to slice deep into it, following the profile of the ground, about one or two inches uh, deep. So uh, effectively, we're trying to make a sod pad that follows the profile of the ground that's one to two inches thick. Carefully work your way around the entire length, making sure the angle of your shovel matches the profile, uh, since it's a depression, this should be angled downward somewhat. But once you have gone all the way around, you should be able to flip this entire sod pad over. If you think the sod pad's too heavy, you can always cut it in half if you need to. And if you're enjoying this video, please give me a thumbs up as it really does help me out and I greatly appreciate it. Next, we're going to backfill our hole with topsoil. Use as much as you think you need to make a level spot. Once you feel you've added enough, flip over your sod pad and kind of jump on it a few times to compact it down. Then just check it with your level stick. If it's compacted all the way and seems to be perfectly level, you're done. If there's some small localized low spots still present or a bump, you know, flip the sod pad back over, fix it and try again. It's just trial and error. But once it's level and firm, you should be done. And the jumping and compacting on this is actually important because it's going to settle anyways. If you do this ahead of time, then you can be sure that it won't settle much else. Okay, so when is the best time to fix low spots in your lawn? Well, the absolute best time is early spring. There's a few reasons for that. The first one is the root system of the grass is not as strong, not as thick, so it's easier for you to cut it with a shovel, so it's less effort. The other reason is cooler temperatures. And it's not just that it's cooler temperatures are more comfortable to work in, but the grass won't have much of a heat load after you've replaced the sod pad. That means you probably won't need to water it very much, if at all, especially if the high temperatures don't go much above 60 Fahrenheit. Okay, so let's talk about watering. 
You can do this process anytime during the growing season. So if you do it during hot temperatures, you will want to water it in the same as if you laid a brand new sod pad on bare dirt. You're gonna to wanna to water before you put the sod pad back on, after you compact it, water it in, and you'll have to water every couple of days for a couple of weeks until it's established. You know, you're cutting the roots of the grass and this will disrupt their ability to transfer water back to the blades. Fill material. When it comes to what kind of material you should use to fill in a low spot, the only long-term solution is gonna to be topsoil. Some people may wanna try compost or composted manure, but while those materials will greatly improve the fertility and microorganisms in the soil, they will be consumed over time, resulting in another low spot. So it's best just to use regular topsoil or something that won't vanish over time. And then finally, what are some of the things that actually cause these low spots? Well, simply put, any kind of digging will eventually cause a low spot as the ground settles. If you remove a post, a flagpole, move a mailbox, any of those can do it. In my case, I had a row of forsythia bushes when we moved in here three or four years ago. I got them out of there, chopped out the root stock, but some of it remained. And as that woody roots decompose, it formed a low spot. So there you go. All right, time to review. So you're gonna need a level stick to check for the start stop point of your low spots to find out where the profile begins. Use a flat shovel to gently lift the edge and form a perimeter around the entire low spot. And then follow that perimeter and cut underneath making a sod pad that's roughly one to two inches thick. Flip it over, fill in the hole with topsoil and replace the sod pad and compact it down, check the levelness. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this short video. And if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. I will try to answer all of them. Also, please okay, give me job. a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video as it greatly helps me out and I really do appreciate it. And you all have a good day. Thank you.